Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping in Scents, uh, for another, I know I said I wasn't going to do it, another Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale haul. Yes, I said I wasn't going to go back, but you guys know I can't help myself. I cannot help myself. I had to go and see what they had. I went yesterday and they had zero. Yesterday, I was a good girl. I went there. I picked up a bag. I looked in the store. They had absolutely nothing I wanted. I was like so proud of myself. I left. I didn't buy anything. And I was like, yep, I'm done with semi-annual sale. I don't need anything else. They don't have anything else. I'm done. Then I went back today. Today is Wednesday. And they started putting more stuff on the 75% off table. You know, I went in just to look, just to make sure that I had not missed anything. Sure enough, they came out with some 75% off soaps and some stuff that I just could not put, I could not put down. I could not leave there. So... I got my receipt. Um, and the thing that I want to say about this, and I'll get into the haul, is that 75% off soaps without a coupon, I keep thinking to myself it's going to be a dollar and change. And it's not for the majority of them because the prices on most of the soaps have gone up from $7.50 to $8.50. So instead of it being like a dollar and something, it's $2 and something, even at 75% off. But still, I picked up some soaps and then I'll tell you what happened in the store. Because I know you go, you guys and girls are just like, shut up and show us what you got. So, 75% off soaps. So, the first one that I picked up, and I got three of these, is the uh, White Barn. I like the packaging more than I like the scent. This is White Barn Fall Citrus Harvest. You know I'm not big on citrus. This one is going to have to grow on me. Actually, it smells better. It smells better now than it did in the store. I'm glad I got the three of them. It has a very rustic. I love the, the packaging is very rustic. So, at first, in the store, I was like, oh, it's going to have that dirty dish rag smell that... I get from like that lime smelled like from coconut lime verbena, but no, it's not. And I'm sudsing on myself. Okay, so it has like um, a juicy kind of lemon scent. So you definitely get the citrus, but then I definitely smell like a sage kind of woods scent. I haven't read the scent notes yet, so I'm guessing now. Yeah, it has this really rustic citrus scent, which is a weird combination. So it's kind of a juicy, fresh squeezed lemon with kind of like an herbal sage, woodsy, foresty scent. So let's see if I'm right. Fall Citrus Harvest. So this is zesty lemon, mint leaves, and thyme. That's what it was. It's not sage, it's thyme. Zesty lemon, mint leaves, and thyme. So, yeah, I picked these up. I picked up three of them. These are $8.50. These are marked $8.50, so they were $2.12. So I picked up three, and they had just started putting stuff on the 75% off table. And I'll tell you what I did after I, I show you everything. So I got three of these. These are really pretty. You know, at first I felt guilty. I felt guilty because I'm like, you know what? I don't need this soap and stuff. But sometimes you got to spoil yourself, you know? Man, I'm not going to feel guilty. Then, I know I said I was going to stay away from the triple, triple moisture body cream. But I did get one. They had the spa line. They have had it. Um... I stayed away from it because I bought spa previously. I gifted most of it to my boyfriend. He only liked the green, the Zen garden, and the yoga sunrise, the orange one. He did not like this one, the hot spring spa. So he, he's like, no, you can keep that one. And the stargazer meditation, he didn't like those. He only liked the other two. 
So these smell different to me in the cream than they do in the shower gel, the shower lotion, not shower lotion, shower gel. This to me smelled, I liked all of them, but I have to say I agreed with him that the Zen Garden and the Yoga Sunrise Orange one was much better than the other two. But for some reason, and they had the Zen Garden cream. That, I like the Zen Garden better in the shower wash because it was like a moisturizing shower wash. I liked it better in the shower uh, gel wash than I did in the lotion. But for for some reason, the hot spring spa, I like the lotion better. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'll gift it. Because you know, you guys know that the triple moisture body creams, they go bad on me. They don't, they tell you, Bath and Body Works will tell you two years, they go bad in like three months. And especially if it's like a vanilla scent, it'll go bad right away. Do not buy a lot of triple moisture body cream. Like I said, I wasn't going to buy any. I only bought Golden Sunflower and this one. That's it. That's all I have in my whole collection. You know what though? This, I this I liked it better in the store and I like it less now. So this is Hot Springs Spa and this was originally $15.50. So this is $3.87. Now I'm thinking if I should have gotten the Zen Garden. Anyway. So this is eucalyptus. That's what it is. I'm not nuts about eucalyptus. Eucalyptus, lemon oil, and cedar wood. And this is supposed to be soothing hot spring spa with this blend featuring natural essential oils. I don't know. I don't know. So then I know I said I wasn't going to get this. But they had one left and I was like, you know what? I'll get it. I'll try it. The Vanilla Bean Noel Shimmer Fizz Body Lotion. And this I'm going to have to use up because it'll go bad. This is marked $16.50, which is just outrageous. And it was $4.12. Ooh. It's like Pop Rocks. This actually smells really good. Yeah, it's like it's like vanilla bean Noel pop rocks. Mmm, that smells really good. How can you not love vanilla bean Noel? This I'm gonna put on my uh, vanity to use right away. This is, I I think I could use this up because it doesn't seem like there's a lot of product in there, and that's a really expensive for not a whole bunch of product. Four dollars is even it seems excessive to me. So Shimmer Fizz Body Lotion. Is it shimmery? Yeah, it is. It does shimmer. Mm, okay. I, you know what? I'm beating myself up over this. I'm thinking I should have got the Zen Garden. I should have got the Zen Garden instead of the Hot Spring Spa. No, you know what? I'm lying. Because this, you know what it is? You have to let it sit on your skin for a little bit. And then when it blends with your natural, you know, -ness, yeah, it, I like it. I picked up another one. I was like, I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. I don't need it. I don't need it. And then I got another one of the Kitchen Lemon Hand Cream. They brought it back. They sold out of it and they had more. So now they brought back Kitchen Lemon again in the hand cream with the, the snap closure, which is what I like. Uh, Kitchen Lemon. Rather than those horrible hand creams with those twist off caps. So Kitchen Lemon has no scent notes because it's just Kitchen Lemon. And we all know what it smells like. It smells like Pledge. Mm. Anyway, then I really didn't get a lot. I thought I got more than I got. So more soaps. So I got three of each of the soaps that they had out. So this was another one that they had out, and this is um, the Perfect Pumpkin. And these are Mark 750. 
yeah, this is eight fifty, and this is Mark seven fifty. So these were instead of two twelve, they were a dollar eighty seven. So three of the perfect pumpkin. This is so hard to, you have to be careful when you open these that you don't, you have to hold on to them tight in order to be able to twist off the cap, but then you have to try not to suds on yourself here. The perfect pumpkin. It smells like pumpkins and apples and licorice. It smells nice. Um, it's, I'm, like I said, I'm not amazed by any of these. Like sale makes everything smell better. So the perfect pumpkin, this is fresh cranberry, spice pumpkin, and crisp apple. I definitely smell the spice pumpkin and crisp apple. I don't really, do I smell cranberry? Yeah, I do. I smell the cranberry. That's the tartness. Yeah, so it's nice. It's, it's something like, I think it's one of the, I'm like, I'm sensing on myself. It's one of those scents that has to like grow on you. It's not one of those that you smell it and you're like, oh, I'm so amazed by it, you know. So, and it's really pretty packaging. The perfect pumpkin. And then I got three of these. And this is in the, the diamond cut bottle. Um, so, being these are marked 850, they were 212. So I got three of the apple hibiscus. Apple hibiscus, yeah, it smells like apples and flowers. Yeah, apples and flowers, it's nice. Like I said, they're all okay scents. They're, oh, I have to, I gotta stop squeezing these bottles. They're all okay scents. They're not fabulous. Why do I feel like I've, I've squeezed more soap out of this? Let me open this up again. Okay, so watch. The notes are gonna say apples and hibiscus. Apple nectar hibiscus and sweet orange. I don't smell any orange in there. So I got three of the white barn apple hibiscus because sale makes everything smell better. And then I got two lotions. And like I said, sometimes the scent will sell, smell better in the lotion than it does in the rest of the body care. Now this is a scent that people love, love and a scent that I'm just like, I don't get what it's so fabulous about it watermelon lemonade so i don't really like the body care on this the shower gel because it reminds it's such an artificial scent most of the time it smells like a jolly rancher but the watermelon lemonade i tried it on in the store it smells more like a fresh clean watery uh watermelon scent I like this one because it's a light watermelon. And it's and it almost has like an aloe scent to it. It's kind of like a really fresh natural watermelon combined with an aloe scent. I really 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 like this. So, and you know I'm not a lotion person, but I'm going to use this. Now watch. Fast forward 3 years from now. <laughs> the lotion is yellow and I've forgotten to use it. No, I'm not going to let that happen. So this says watermelon ice, sparkling water, sugared lemon. And these were $3.37. $3.37, originally $13.50. And I really love the packaging. It's so, so, so pretty. So yeah. Yeah. That's the extent of my haul. It seemed like a lot of stuff, but I guess it wasn't as much stuff as I thought. So let me tell you the story. At first, the first thing I saw on the 75% off table, as far as the soaps, was the apple hibiscus and the perfect pumpkin. I, did, I didn't see 
the fall citrus harvest right away. So I see the, the sales associate kind of moving stuff around on the 75% off table. She's pushing things together and looking like she's trying to make space for more stuff. So I'm like very carefully watching her to see what she put out on the table. So she added cherry blossom, not Japanese cherry blossom, just the regular cherry blossom in the lotion. And I believe, no, I don't think it was in the shower gel. Maybe, maybe the shower gel, definitely the lotion. I tried it on. It smells like Japanese cherry blossom. I don't like it. It smells like an old lady. So anyway, I was looking to see if she was going to put more stuff out. And then I saw the soaps and then I saw the girl go and get, she put these out and then she went and she got the other soap. So I was like, what other stuff are they going to put on the 75% off table? What am I going to miss? You know me, I'm a curious, uh, curious cat. So I was like, I can't stand around all night and watch and see what they're going to put on this table. Right? So I went over to, I went over to her. She went back to, to sorting her stuff on her other table and I said to her, I was like, excuse me. I was, look, I was like, look, I'm, I'm not going to tiptoe around. I said, I, I feel, I said, I feel weird, like following you and like walking behind you. And I don't want you to feel like I'm following you, but I see that you're rearranging the 75% off table. Would you mind telling me what products you plan on putting on the table? So it doesn't look like you're walking and I'm just like, you know, hovering, I'm lingering. And she's like, no, the cherry blossom is the only thing I'm, I'm putting out. She's like, those soaps are there because uh, another girl had put them out and she was like, those soaps are there because we had boxes of soap in the back in the stock room that we thought were 50% off. But then when we scanned them, we realized they were 75% off. So that's why she, she found two boxes and then she found a third box and that's what we've put out. She's like, there's I, she goes, I think there's one more box back there. So she's like, you might want to wait around cause there might be another soap coming out. And then so I was waiting and then she came over to me and she said, no, it turned out that that soap is 50% off. It's not 75% off. So I was like, so you're not putting anything else on the 75% off table. I can, you know, it's safe for me to go. And she was like, yeah, we're not putting any more stuff on, on 75% off table this evening. So that was it. That was it. Yeah. So I, I know I got a lot of stuff in I went over to the counter. I wasn't going to get the kitchen lemon. And I said to the guy, I, yeah, because he, there was a guy that, that rang me up. I was like, is, he's like, is everything okay? And I was like, I don't know if I want the kitchen lemon. He's like, well, do you like kitchen lemon? And I was like, I bought kitchen lemon before and I kind of want another one, but I'm kind of not sure. And I kind of want it, but I don't know. There's only three of them there. And maybe I should get one. And yep, I got the kitchen lemon. <laughs> now I'm kicking myself over not getting the, the Zen garden. But for some reason, the Zen garden didn't smell as good to me in the store. Because you know what I did? I put it on. I put it on myself. This smells really good. I don't know why it smells weird in the in the shower um gel moisturizing shower stuff. I don't know what to call it because it's the 24 hour moisture cleanser gel, whatever it is. Yeah, because like like I said, my I tried to gift this, I tried to gift the entire spa collection. It's a long story. If you're a watcher of my channel, then you know what happened. I had, I decluttered quite a bit of stuff and I returned some stuff. So no, I exchanged some stuff. So the stuff that I exchanged, I didn't want to get stuff for myself because I knew I wasn't going to use it because I have too much stuff. That's why I had to declutter. So I said, whatever I get as far as exchanging things, right? I'm going to try to get neutral scents so that I can gift them all to my boyfriend and he can use them and at least they'll get used, right? I'm not going to 
get stuff for myself. So they didn't have any, um, they didn't have any, did, did they not have any men's stuff that I liked? What was, what was the reason I, oh, it was because I was exchanging, I was exchanging product for product. Yeah, I don't know why I couldn't get him men's stuff. Either they didn't have men's stuff. I don't know. But I got him the spa collection because that seemed the most neutral. And I was like, here, here's all this spa stuff. Take it and use it in good health. I was like, but smell all of it first. I got him spa stuff and I got him aromatherapy. I remember I got him the black chamomile. So I was like, listen, smell all of this stuff and tell me if you like it. And if you do, take it and use it. Take it and go. You know, but if you don't, I said, I don't want you like giving it to your sister or your brother or whatever. If you don't like how it smells, give it to me, leave it here, and I will gift it to somebody or I will use it myself. And he liked, <clears throat> he liked the Zen Garden. I gave him the body wash and the, the lotion. He likes the lotion. He doesn't like the body cream. It's too thick. So I got him the Zen Garden, the shower stuff, the lotion, and I got him the yoga one. I got all of them. And he liked the yoga one and he liked the Zen Garden, but he did not like the hot spring spa and he did not like the stargazer meditation. So I ended up keeping those two in, in the shower wash. <clears throat> And then the other lotion that I gave him was black chamomile. And I gave him other stuff. I forget. It's all in my other videos. It's all in my other videos. So that's the long drawn out story. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to comment, rate, subscribe. Um, oh, follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense. I forgot to tell you, I smelled all of the new spring candles that jam donut jelly jam donut uh that coconut cream pie the candy hearts the be mine candy hearts strawberry pound cake lilac something and rosé bubbly rosé the bubbly rosé one smell like champagne toast mixed with strawberries the strawberry pound cake smell like strawberry pound cake that jam donut smelled like Strawberry pound cake, strawberry pound cake intensified. This is just like on, you know, just quick sniff. The only one that I really liked out of all of them on just a very quick, you know, cold sniff was the Be Mine Candy Hearts. Because that seemed different to me. It smelled like candy hearts and like a candy necklace. It had that artificial candy smell. And then it had that like chalky smell to it that candy hearts and candy necklaces have. So I did like the Be Mine Candy Hearts one. That was my favorite one. I like the, ja the Jelly Jam Donut. I forget what the hell it's called. I liked all of them. They're all good. But if I had to pick a favorite just like right now, I think the Candy Hearts is my favorite. Anyway, I will see you all in a future video. Until then, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.